Hey everybody, we have seven piles today. Starting from the top left corner, we're going to have pile one. Jumping to the top right corner, we will have pile four. And the second row, bottom left corner, is going to be pile five. Two spaces down, we have pile seven. You can ignore the bottom right white space. It's just a blank space. I do have a auto number generator link in my description box for anyone who's feeling indecisive. Otherwise, you can take some time right now to pick with your intuition and the timestamps will be down below. Hello, Pile One. Welcome to your reading. So, this is so crazy because we had three eyes come up, then we had another eye come up, then we had one more eye come up. And in this oracle deck, it's not just eyes, there's other images, but it just happened to be that you guys had all these eyes watching you. And of course, we have the Page of Swords. So, there's major stalker energy going on here. This person watches you obsessively and a lot. And I'm going to reiterate obsessively, we have the devil, so there's a really strong physical attraction here. The devil being besides the nine of cups, it just, they feel like if they had you, that's it, you know, it would be a huge release, it would make them really happy. Um, there's, a, but it's like watching you from afar some of you guys are talking to this person okay conversing more awaited message text or they're really really thinking about texting you but i am getting some of you guys are speaking to this person but they're very like reclusive about their feelings or they they might have pulled back with the hermit coming up as the last card so much earth coming up we have capricorn in sixth house which is a really slow moving energy so they're very slow in coming towards you. We have Neptune in Capricorn. Neptune in Capricorn is when you want your dreams to come true, but it's in such a restrictive, realistic sign. Well, this is like the planet of dreams and fantasy and very, very watery. So they, the fantasy is you, but it's like everything, there's a voice in their head saying, no, you can't, you can't reach out or you can't pursue this. And they view you I'm getting the Capricorn energy is you. So you're really, really in your power right now is what I'm seeing. Um, like there, there's so much like fantasy going on here. You've really swept this person off their feet. A lot of confusion as well. Um, but it's like I'm, I'm getting when they listen to music especially with this full moon and pisces card they think of you balance spirituality and practicality so they are trying to be realistic even though there's a part of them that is so swept up in emotions stabbed in the back i do feel like this person might have hurt you in the past i feel like both of you honestly are afraid of getting hurt even if this person hurt you first <laughs> they they've taken it a little bit personally right we have page energy here which can be a little bit immature their coping mechanism is trying to is them trying to keep themselves busy basically because we have sixth house which is our daily routines which is our work they're trying to do little everyday things to keep them busy and we have the hermit which we know is a card of being withdrawn in recovery and we have the card recovery this to me is speaking about again them pulling back from you and protection so they're they're guarded they're they're really really guarded and it's like there's so much temptation though it's difficult is what i'm seeing co-create you really activate the reason why you're like a wish come true is because you really activate their sacral chakra so their inner child um that also speaks about that attraction you really light them up is what i'm feeling but with adjustments are required and clean it up it feels like they need to clean up their act or they feel like i need to focus on me first i don't know guys it feels like this connection is a little bit halted here um they're really really i keep emphasizing this but they're really like enamored by you because we have magic works through you which is the idea of like you are like this magical being to them everything you do you know i feel like they're really really impressed by you and you have uh ooh, 
this actually sums it up really perfectly we have under a spell so they're very goo goo gaga over you right now like they've got those rose colored i don't know why i did this they have those rose colored lenses on right now um they're scared of getting hurt and they repress a lot of their emotions is what i'm seeing so uh, you guys can be dealing with 6th house of Virgo placements coming up strong. Neptune and Pisces is also coming up very strong. Capricorn is also coming up very strong. We have air sign Taurus on the bottom of the deck. We also have Libra placements. Um, oh, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. Uh, I feel, again, a lot of you really gave to this person with ungrateful daughter and earthly mother. I feel like you gave and you gave and you gave and now you're like out here not settling for anything that doesn't make you like a prize basically um, for some of you this person got hurt in the past and that's where this protective energy is coming from but I really am getting a lot of you are in this like I'm in my power I'm protecting myself and guarding my heart mode as well so that is all thank you so much for watching if you would like to book a more in-depth reading for six dollars all that info is down below otherwise that's all take care hello pile two so the first card we have is the sun i feel this person definitely sees you as a light someone really radiant someone they could have fun with and with the queen of pentacles and the eight of swords in reverse um they see you as someone abundant okay i feel like uh if they know you well they can energetically sense you're stepping more into your power and you're not holding yourself back as much we have yang and uh new moon and aries so this is very strong masculine energy Ooh, the yang is number one and so is new moon and aries so one is a leader and to me, this is speaking about you being really, really focused on yourself. Um, again, this person sees you standing in your power. There's like a childlike fun energy. You're, you come across to this person as someone fun, even with the sun card, right? And Aries. Aries is like the baby of the zodiac. It's the first sign. Um, you still let your inner child live. They like your energy but i am sensing for some of you guys either this is someone you don't have that much of a close relationship with anymore maybe you did in the past or this is a newer connection or something because with chop wood and clean it up here there's like a there's i'm not getting a lot of life both of these cards speak about like daily duties or having to do you know the daily grind which to me is speaking about something in this connection is very either repetitive or not getting lifted off the ground do i think there's an attraction here yes i do with pleasure i am seeing a physical attraction but with community coming up this feels more like you guys are in the friend zone or again this is a newer connection something about this to me is coming across as a more light-hearted energy and the six of cups on the bottom is actually speaking to me as more of like a friendship we had communicate clearly come up oh my god oh here it is so it feels like i don't think they know or th th how much you like them or if you do like them or there's communication problems going on here hammer is that same idea of kind of the same repetitive thing and we have a lot of focus on these earth houses a lot of earth energy which to me um is speaking about like they're not being passion enough passion or emotions here this person really really admires you and again we have pluto which is an intense energy um but what i'm intuitively really feeling off this spread is something about this connection not getting lifted off the ground with be fearless and bold i feel like there has to someone has to make a move for things to like really pick up you or them and there's their they kind their feelings are kind of wishy-washy i just like to be as stable um not as stable as honest as possible in these readings because it's like i don't know i feel like 
we have so many we had like the runner come up which is like someone who runs away from relationships and self-indulgence which to me is like them being really really focused on their self i am getting there's a little bit of potential here i'm not promising anything because i do see you know signs of attraction this is not a terrible spread it just feels like it's not getting again lifted off the ground there's a lot of focus on career finances for this person and i feel like for you as well um so that's what that's what i'm seeing guys they vibe with your energy but i just feel like they haven't maybe thought about things that deeply yet um we had set healthy boundaries some of you guys chased this person and but with a rebirth is assured i feel like it's almost like potential and a rebirth for this but it's not like the most promising energy coming up look for a sign so i feel like you guys individually this is a general reading should look for signs or indications or maybe like you know put yourself out there a little bit maybe not too much <laughs> because i know as it's a weird world as as women it's more natural for a guy to be in his masculine energy and come after you and for a woman to not some people some guys aren't like that some guys like to chase but i do feel like look for signs and give this person little hints because with mysterious mother it feels like the future of this connection is really like it's not very set at all so you can be dealing with i'm getting strong earth sign placements i'm also getting pluto scorpio um, Aries coming up strong, uh, Sagittarius coming up on the bottom of the deck, and Libra. I do feel like there's potential here, guys. I just saw this new moon in Libra. So, um, also Leo. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to book a more in-depth reading for six dollars, any questions, information's down below. Otherwise, that's all. Take care. Hello, pile three. Okay, this pile is very, very spicy. <laughs> okay so the first card we have up i usually start with tarot but i just feel called to talk about this because we have sensual awakening so this connection um there's like a lot of primal attraction here to, like where it just feels natural or you can't really explain why you feel this way about this person and this person feels that way about you too there's a very like i want you energy but very very secretive there's so much tension that's that's really what i mean by spicy it feels like with unfinished symphony in reverse this person wants to complete a certain cycle with you like they want they want to be with you and with patience though for whatever reason it's like you guys are star-crossed <laughs> i'm being so dramatic but it's like you guys are star-crossed lovers or something there's a it's like this person feels they need to go really slow or there's like a build-up of tension we had scorpio come up twice that to me speaks about again very very strong physical attraction the type that you can't really explain and it's like mm, it's like it's really exciting to be honest <laughs> and scorpio energy is very secretive though so i feel like people here may not be fully expressing um or some of you see we have the ten of cups followed by the seven of pentacles which really sums this up because i feel like they see such strong potential with you but they're not ready yet um and that's what i was getting it's so funny because all the cards line up beautifully because we have the seven of pentacles followed by the eight of pentacles they feel way too much in their head to pursue this or to take this at a speed that is more more matching their feelings it's like they're trying to manifest this with alchemy right it's very like 5d very psychic very like you'll be thinking about me i'll be thinking about you a lot type of thing even with sunglasses, this is so Scorpio to me. This is so like, there's so much mystery in this connection. There's this energy of them watching you from afar, stalking you. This is really interesting. We had, um, we had Scorpio followed by Sagittarius followed by Libra. And actually, seven, eight, nine. Scorpio is the seventh, eighth, and then we have the ninth sign, which to me speaks like it didn't come out in that order so it feels like this connection is a little bit chaotic it's not maybe you guys um had an intense 
um, moment and then they really pulled away and then it's like what's going on it feels like things aren't linear so to speak it feels as if um, before it's like before Libra is kind of like the dating the courting stage but it's like we jumped right into intense feelings right away this feels like there hasn't been proper courting yet but they want they want it to be at the same time this person values their independence their stuff they i feel like there's stuff they feel they need to accomplish or they feel they need to reach a certain state and this this might be both of you you both might feel especially this person with let spirit be your guide they feel like it's not the right time they feel like there's certain things they need to do in their life is what i'm really really sensing um this is a really interesting reading and what again summed it up to me was a year from now which to me feels like there's very strong this is a general reading guys but you know take whatever resonates um but it, what i'm hearing from the story i'm seeing is there's a very strong potential that you guys are going to come together when it's the right time like i feel like we have a year from now and then we had big happy changes on the bottom of the deck and no need to worry and yes that is crazy sorry i just wanted to see what was going on so big happy changes no need to worry yes i feel like there's a really strong potential here for things to work out this connection's really really intense we even have lightning it's electric like even their feelings for you it's like i think they're very very excited by you so this is very interesting um you guys can be dealing with libra sagittarius scorpio placements um gemini placements and we also have pisces placements uh this can be in your chart in the chart of anybody you're dealing with if you don't have any of the if the placements don't resonate don't worry about it too much um and that's all guys thank you so much if you would like to book a more in-depth reading for six dollars info is down below otherwise that's all take care hello pile four i hope you guys are well now this is really intense um let's start off with the empress because it is a beautiful card and you know has a beautiful meaning here this person just thinks you know there's a little bit of confidence issues with them i feel or insecurity because they look at you and i'm getting they feel they can't match up because we have a fear that light will bring judgment they see you right now and how strongly you're shining the only person who matches the empress is the emperor right so i think they don't know how to get to that point to be that provider or to be at your level it's like they don't want to be seen they're hiding almost right from you we have the six of pentacles and the ten of cups there's so much um so many feelings here a lot of they think about you a lot with the 12th house you know which rules the subconscious you're always on their mind ten of cups to to be with you would be like the happily ever after or to spend time with you or you know this could happen or what if this happens and when i really see what i'm getting intuitively energetically right now what i'm seeing in this image is like that's them and that's you and they are like they just want some crumbs like they would they just want something but again they don't want to be seen right they don't they're not ready to to face you they're not even ready to face themselves fully show the world the real you aquarius again you're out here shining 11th house energy right um they they feel like you can connect to people and you can reach people and you could reach anyone and you could do this and you could do that and they feel as if i don't know they can't be their authentic self even though they want to with you stillness right so even though we have all this these feelings which are very very intense we have the seven of pentacles here it's like they're waiting or sorry you're waiting at, at the end of the day you're waiting on them are they invested yes but this is too slow they're not it's like this is showing me they're not being very active right now legacy of light they really admire whatever it is you guys are doing or how you're carrying yourself for some of you where where you come from they're just like i couldn't like i don't match up to you right that type of energy imagine and happy happy they get lost in their daydreams and they just they feel you can make them 
very happy you know it's message in a bottle they want to reach out to you so bad but we have so much energy of stillness here we have energy of stalemate of it's it's hiding right i keep saying the word hiding but 12th house they're hiding this message in a bottle new life exactly it's like they want to start over if you guys if got uh if if things had gone wrong or they just want a new beginning with you but i don't know i do get this like sad energy guys palm tree i think they're really trying to focus on feeling stable and grounded within themselves we have watch your words oh yeah they're holding themselves back and set healthy boundaries so they they have these walls up aquarius also speaks about detachment i feel like they're showing you a detached energy here addiction codependent has a block definitely they they need to heal i'm not saying this this person could have easily hurt you i'm not saying um they're right or in any case or or you should pity them or anything like that um but they're just going through it guys and um what i'm seeing with second house right that's um when someone when someone has planets in your second house it's like of they value you and i feel like this person looks at you and thinks you have so much value you're the empress and fourth house it's like they want you this is deep right deepest part of your chart this something about you just clicks it feels like home they feel like you two couldn't get each other 12th house though is such a there's a lot of um again emotional blocks this this is um this reading's emotional this reading has a lot of this connection has a lot of um ties to spirituality and going through one's own spirituality and seeking and finding themselves i feel like 12th house connections are very very intense and they're the type of uh, connections you don't forget and uh, they're hard to explain and pinpoint and i feel like this person can't exactly pinpoint their feelings or un they don't understand this they're confused they're they're all over the place but and again this is coming from their own emotional blocks guys they're they need they need to work on them right now is what i'm seeing even with the page of uh, see page of cups the lovers ten of pentacles bottom of deck that's really really intense but page energy that can be more immature right they're not ready to come forward once again um and we had unlikely in reverse which to me and the set healthy boundaries is also i feel like my the guides our guides are coming through to say make sure you have your boundaries in place because it's like with unlikely it in it feels like i don't know will things work out will anything is possible but right now the energy is just like unlikely your guides are saying you might have to wait on this person or it's unlikely they're gonna get out of this anytime soon you know it's it's just like not the most positive sign the feelings guys this is very very intense once again like i just i don't know i feel kind of sad i feel like maybe you guys are going through some stuff as well because i'm just feeling like a a sad energy but they do like the cards that came out are beautiful they're just imagining this fantasy and they see you I feel like if they've been projecting it's because they think you're too good they just think you're amazing there's no one like you in their eyes so that was your reading i hope you enjoyed i hope you guys are doing really well and taking care of yourselves if you would like to book a more in-depth reading for six dollars all that information is down below otherwise that's all thank you and take care hello pile five i think is what we're at this is a bit intense we have the eight of swords and we also have the mirror i feel like this person is projecting a lot okay any negativity they're projecting it's because they truly have their own issues that they i'm getting a lot of ego here are not even understanding or are willing to face yet two of pentacles followed by the five of swords there may be a lot of tension or a pettiness in this connection they're not ready to put their sword down if that makes sense and i feel like they treat you guys like an option or they juggle you with other things i'm getting this message of treating you like an option and being very 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 focused on themselves with the king of pentacles coffee cup this speaks about friendship this also speaks about feeling lifted right like drinking coffee feeling good and i feel like oh, this sounds terrible but sometimes they use you as a pick-me-up 
is there feelings here i'm sensing there's an attraction okay with pleasure coming up and pluto which can be very very intense but i'm getting negative energy from um your guys person and i always like to be blunt always like to be honest we have fox spirit look at that face the mischief the mm, not good vibes i just feel like they're being very very clever um they may always kind of put your faults out but not look at their own or they have in the past there's just a like a sneaky kind of energy i'm getting just not just not the greatest and i feel like you guys are getting really like you're getting pushed to your limits a little bit here with flow they want to have good times for sure and just go with the flow of things is what i'm seeing but with pluto and sagittarius i feel like anytime an issue comes up or you feel like they might take things too lighthearted or they treat things like a joke um pluto in taurus so i'm also getting a a lot of stubbornness here maybe um, a controlling nature possibly as well or just manipulation is possible too but pluto and taurus is to me speaking about being very obsessive about um kind of the more shallow material things i feel like this person has some shadow work to do needs to look deeper within right now um self-initiation they are again right really really focused on themselves there's a, a lot of cards coming up here fire mother which talks about endlessly giving we have dependency coming up i feel like all my people watching here for um for the protection of your own energy you need some time right now to yourself or to not endlessly give right and drain yourself we have exchanging gifts and regeneration to me this speaks about you give you give and you give and it's like replenishing them and they need a wake-up call that this is not okay to do i feel um what else am i getting even five of wands bottom of the deck it speaks about more petty immature energy here um your commitment is being tested so it feels like to them it's hard to commit or fully give or it's hard for them to give is kind of what i'm seeing um there's a lot of tension going on guys so the breaking bottom of the deck it feels like i feel like you guys really need to step away so it doesn't get to that point where it gets you know out of hand so to speak i hope that gave you guys some some insight um you can be dealing with sagittarius placements pluto scorpio placements taurus placements earth sign placements um i'm also seeing third house gemini placements and we also have aquarius if i did not already say it so thank you so much for watching if you would like to book a more in-depth reading for six dollars any questions info is down below otherwise that is all take care hello pile six thank you so much for being here so i can see your person is feeling regret about the past okay especially if they walked away they're now the disappointment is starting to sink in your person's a little up and down with their emotions though and on their decisions because with laughing and crying it's it, i'm getting instability here instability in regards to wanting to make a choice there's definitely an attraction here with the queen of wands they you seeing your worth is now them seeing your worth also they definitely are watching you grow and the seven of wands to me is almost like trying to figure out to fight for you or to 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 push back and there's um we have a lot about fate here so your person is really realizing how this connection um is not dismissible it cannot just be replaced easily we have the north node and the fates and the north node is the node of fate that's really really a interesting synchronicity there it's a step out of your comfort zone it's like they want to move forward but are it's they don't feel ready yet and building blocks to me this is building one block at a time and can be a slow energy but again with the deep knowing it's like their intuition is screaming and they now they're feeling regretful and um like warning and upset because they're like oh shoot 
I know the value of this and how special this actually is. Uh, we have relaxation, which is giving me that slower energy, right? They're not wanting to step out of their comfort zone here. We have Neptune, which is all about fantasies and idealization, and but also confusion. Um, so there is emotion tied here and um it's like they want to they want this to this connection to ascend paradise ascending paradise they realize how um i can't think of the word what's the word how wholesome sorry how wholesome this connection is and they want to ascend and you know um preparing for a union they want they want more playfulness oneness enjoying each other's company they feel like you guys really fit really really well together but then we have neptune and capricorn this came up before too right this is this the, neptune and capricorn this is the generation that's afraid to follow their dreams what that's telling me is they're holding themselves themselves back they keep trying to think more practically or realistically they're they're not letting themselves get swept away with this dream here we had let go for you guys which is just a little side message from your guides being like let go of this for for now okay with someone soon we did have within the next few months i hearings um some of you guys are going to be getting contact within the next few months because this is another clarifier to me someone soon is like someone coming soon um this could be someone new too but with let go i'm hearing just um keep doing you right now uh turn knowledge into wisdom right i feel like this person needs to learn their lesson and you guys may also need to evaluate their past actions and use your mind wisely this is your person again thinking from the rational side of their it's like following their mind over their heart i do feel like some of you are they, they are going to pull out of this energy they want to but with recovery they're they're not ready yet so um, you can be dealing with Neptune Pisces placements, Capricorn placements, Virgo, fire sign placements, Taurus placements. We also have Virgo again and Aries. Um, this can be in your chart. can be in the chart of anyone you're dealing with. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to book a more in-depth reading, any questions for $6, readings are sent within 24 hours, you can do that down below. Otherwise, that's all. Take care. Hello, Pile 7. Thank you so much for being here. So, we have the Knight of Wands. Oh my god, I keep getting stuff in my eyes. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands here. So, I feel like your person's really charismatic, very charming, could be a fire sign. Um... But the Knight of Wands is a bit of a player energy, I'm hearing. Here for a good time, not a long time. Um, I don't think they have intentions to hurt you necessarily. There's just, they kind of, with justice besides the Knight of Wands, thinks, hey, I just want to do what I want, and it's cool, I can do whatever I want, you know, type energy. Do I see attraction here yes because we have fifth house okay moon in the fifth you do spark a little i think um they enjoy flirting with you or they want to flirt with you you know moon does speak about emotions but we also have the 11th house which is a very detached house and it actually speaks about networking so whenever i see this in a love reading depending on the rest of the spread i do think okay they're open to other options and that is what i'm sensing here too so it's like a very up and down energy here on one hand you know we did have kisses come up but it came up in reverse and it coming up in reverse is just a sign to me where there's like a very flirty energy here um and they like the giving and, re and exchange of affection or would like it but with sunglasses they can detach when if too many i'm hearing emotions get involved they're like whoa 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 uh this isn't what i signed up for almost energy or they're just not comfortable with it um i do feel like they watch you from afar with the high priestess um it says focusing out with sunglasses which is really interesting because to me it's like yeah sometimes they focus in on you and uh want to have that little uh, cat and mouse chase or game and then other times right they focus out they put the sunglasses on and they're like peace um so it's uh, this person i don't feel a malicious intent again with but oh my god you guys are gonna 
kill me because I totally am gonna butcher the saying. Something about a zebra doesn't, a tiger who changes their stripes or something doesn't. Anyways, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Basically, it's the idea of some like this person just not being stable because I saw these two animals come out and they have different whoa this is a really interesting image because it's like a zebra and then it has like the pattern of I don't even know what animal in the second image so it almost feels like this is like a little bit of a two-faced energy or just a very like they're just it's like they go with the wind it's like you can't catch this person this person cannot be caught snatched cuffed so to speak okay and with truth be told and no coming up i feel like this is your guys just saying you know this isn't a bad thing but sometimes it's okay to just see the reality of the situation and the no um i always use the angel oracle cards as like messages from the guides whatever info or insight they want to give and with no i'm just getting like no don't necessarily wait for this um surrender to the divine that's all about releasing right so i feel like this person um there's a part of them with treasure island that sees how special you are and they like it and they're enticed by you and it's fun but on the other hand it's like they can release things easily really wishy-washy flip flippy floppy they're all they're all, all over the place i do get this person maybe like popular or talks to a lot of people or they've got like a certain charismatic aura i'm getting this very light-hearted energy here we even have openness right and that reminds me of the 11th house right where they're open to new connections they're really they're everywhere um and with openness to me it speaks about the idea they're just open to whatever to whoever they're just they're in a very receptive energy not just with you but like they're like i'm open i don't think they've they're completely emotionally fully invested here so with dear spirit bring a gentle touch right i feel like they're not in tune with their emotions when it comes to this connection that deeply i also feel like this is your energy i feel like you guys have a very very sweet beautiful uh loving endearing energy coming through and they, they notice that they notice your sweetness they definitely um it's cute i think the feelings here are cute but it's just like um again with no that no is just like a no just be cautious basically so we even had on the bottom of the deck which really clarified to me what i was thinking three of pentacles ace of swords the moon and the three of swords which to me is like third party situ situations getting involved or this just being all over the place and being really confusing and then can maybe lead to getting someone getting hurt basically okay so you can be dealing with fire sign placements especially sagittarius and leo we have um aquarius placements coming up we have libra we have virgo we have cancer placements and we also have gemini and cancer again so strong cancer this can be in your chart can be in the chart of the person you're dealing with Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to book a more in-depth reading for $6, all that information is down below. Otherwise, that is all. Take care.